Welcome back, everyone, to Paltos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 7, Episode 9 of Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. And we are continuing the journey of Beor and Maggot as they... Uh, they've got three men here activated on the board. We've traveled a lot this season from um, the Serene Visage to the Timberwall to the Underwall. Now we're in Farshire. To continue our journey south, we're going to need to activate a Four Dweller... Uh, in this area, so we're going to uh, proceed there. We also have to grab a random event. Random event is good weather, which is good. Uh, so that's going to cost our travel, will not in, uh, impact us. We will go ahead and um, check out the Four Dweller Mounds again. I know that we've been here before. I think Connect is right close to here, but we would like to spawn a new Four Dweller. Uh, this Min here is down to two, but we'll probably get rid of him soon. Now this one is down to four, and this one here is also down to five. So we, we're reducing our men here, and uh, let's get into checking out the four dweller mounds. Uh, so four dweller mounds, 106. 106, the Four Dweller Mounds. If you have the Winds of Weirdness status, remove this. Do we have the Winds of Weirdness? No. Uh, we will remove this location card and replace it with location 123. Otherwise, read on. The mist-covered mounds resonate with the sound of spades and pickaxes. Once, only insane treasure hunters worked here. But as more and more gold emerged from under the earth, these burial grounds turned into a regular mine. Or at least almost regular. People still disappear and go mad here on occasion. Wow. Uh, it says... Um, part 2 of the Burning Mystery Status. Do we have the Burning Mystery Status? Part 2. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, so why don't we... It says we can go chat with the miners. Uh, or we can uh, go check out the mounds. So let's wander deep into the mounds. Mm, wander deep into the mounds. Okay, let's wander deeper into the mounds. Let's try that. So we wander deeper into the mounds. We go to go to one. It says uh, no one has been able to count. Um, no one has been able to count uh, this. I don't know how we get to this. So old bones. Okay, let's go to. Yeah, let's go to... Okay, okay, we're going to go to one. No one has been able to count the mounds, and the most experienced miners claim new ones keep arriving, though no one can explain how. How far do you dare wander? Stick to the places where the other miners work. Go beyond the current explored part. Walk and don't stop until you find something interesting. Well, let's do that. We're going to pay... Since we had a good day, we don't have to pay any um, energy. We're going to walk extra here. We roll a Dynad 2 for each point of... Courage. So we have four courage. We're going to roll our die here. Uh, four plus four is eight. So check your results in verse eight. Your results are six plus. Go to the heart of the mounds and stop. Awestruck. We reach the heart of the mounds. Go to verse three. A burial mound taller than all others emerges from the mists in front of you. Its front gate betraying... The same shrine of old steel items. You feel uneasy. This is not a good place for a mortal to be. Uh, so dig into the mound. Go to verse 9. Uh, after a minute of exhausting work, you hear a chilling sound close by you. Your labor attracted something you'd rather avoid. Each party member gains one wealth. Well, that's good. It's always helpful. Each party member gains one wealth.
and uh, draw two cards from the purple encounter deck and resolve one with the highest value. So we'll take two cards from the purple encounter deck and they both have 16, so we'll just pick one of them. And we've got the Yer Hen Rack. The Yer Hen Rack. Uh, we're going to fight this creature. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab our combat. So right off the bat, uh, Bayor has got the Smasher, the Old Steel Smasher. So he gains a one dot there. He's also going to use um, his this combat. So he's going to start out with, oh, that's not that. He's going to start out with times two for this one. So he's going to take two, gain a new card here. Um, we'll have uh, Maggot also going. He's going to set Bayor up for some more attacks with his times two. So that's going to be the first round. He gets two more. So it's a total of five in the first round. So we're going to gain uh, three injury. So one, two, th one, two, three. And uh, armor is going to be able to reduce that by one. Okay. So then uh, back to Bayor. Again, he's going to be able to um, use his Norse Axe. Gives him three. He gets an additional one. So let's go and grab that from here. Um, he will take uh, this one. That's going to be here. So it's now it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then uh, Maggot also can do a times two here for two more. Uh, second round. Eleven, we lose two of these on our attack, and we lose another injury. Reduce one slash, and then back to Bayor. Bayor is going to get to um, Bayor is going to go ahead and attack here, gaining another two. Here's so it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Maggot also gets to go. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Thirteen, fourteen. Ugh. We gain three terror. One, two, three. Okay, we gain terror at this level. And then lastly, a Bayor is going to go again. With the risky attack of Bayor is able to attack uh, here, and that's going to give them the last three, and that's going to win the creature. So the year hen wrapped is defeated. And we're going to gain one reputation and two magic for that. So one reputation, one reputation, two magic. Okay, and now um, we can do our encounter here. So let's just double check. Uh, so we've defeated that four dollar mounds. Uh, we do that encounter deck, and now we can attempt to break through the gate requires the old steel smasher, which we have. Uh, so we go to verse 10. As you strike the gate, a piercing wall staggers you. You push some scraps of cloth deep into your ears and continue. Soon a crack appears on the surface of the gate. Then another one. Finally, the metal crumbles, letting out a piercing cry that makes your ears bleed. Inside, you find a labyrinth of connected wounds. You stumble out hours later, dazed and confused. Um, 
uh, but the knowledge that crept into your mind instead is precious. If you have secret card 11, each party member gains one mission and your exploration ends. Otherwise, it'll lead on. Okay, so our exploration ends here. Okay, so let's exploration ends. We will go ahead and try to launch a men here here. So let's take this men here from the top, set him to this. We'll have to pay uh, one energy, which we don't have to pay because of uh, Maggot has the chalk. Two wealth per player. So two wealth gets paid and one food. Uh, per player, the new men here model on location, and we will set it to nine minus two, so that'll be six, seven. So he's set to seven. So we'll take another men here from the other location, and I think we're going to keep moving down. So I will kind of um, reconstruct this on this turn. We'll just move all of this upward. Again, we'll. Facilitate the map moving like this, like this, and like this. So now we'll be able to add in 118. 118. Valdorka. 118 is stamp. Oh, wait, Stampede. Isn't that where we're supposed to be going? West of Stampede, so 141. Stampede is here, but we don't get to go here, so we have to go down to Stampede and then do another men here. Oh my gosh, this is a long, long journey. Okay, so we found Stampede finally. So actually in our, our, our quest, we have to go west of Stampede. So that's gonna be here. This is where, this is probably where Weird Edge is. So we're gonna to have to find a men here here. So that'll be our next turn. So let's, uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in round number 10. Uh, I'm just gonna mark these two as to be 10 and we'll see you in the next gameplay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.